Um, so I just come back from uh, from a run this morning, and you know, one of the things I often like to do when I've come back from a run is, is test my ketone levels and see see where I'm at. And um, normally I test using uh, blood, but uh, one of the options that's coming into play these days is is testing um, using breath. And um, I've got Lamont with me here from Level. He's a great. Well, Level is a great supporter of our of our um, events, and you'll always find them at a table at one of our events. And um, so I just thought I'd give them. A, people have been asking about it, so I just thought I'd give them a chance to to talk about who they are and, and how this stuff all works. So yeah, thanks, okay. Doug. And uh, I want to hear more about your run, but thanks for having me. And again, uh, we enjoy working with you and your. Uh, your audience at your trade shows and also out in the field. Uh, but yeah, a little bit about Level. Uh, Level is actually a US made and US owned device. Uh, we're actually based in Seattle, Washington, and we've developed this technology uh, over the course of the last eight years. And uh, we are FDA registered uh, as a class one medical device. And we uh, just started selling nationally, um, basically launching at your show last year in 2017. Um, and are now selling devices for both uh, consumers and business owners. So what I'd like to do, Doug, is... So can we, can we just quickly delve into uh, the difference between, because uh, we, we were talking about this earlier, the difference between the personal one and the, and the business one? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I was just going to share it. I'll step back. I do want to measure your uh, breath acetone yeah, we can and, do that, and see, see your reading today after a run. But yeah, the, uh, the difference between a home and a pro device uh, the home device, uh, as you can see, or the level device, is designed to be a non-invasive way to measure breath acetone. And uh, breath acetone being one of those ketone bodies. So you got beta hydroxybutyrate in the blood where you measure uh, uh, millimolars, and then you also have acetoacetate that you'd use urine strips, and then we measure breath acetone in parts per million. Uh, the home device, as you can see, is the same as the professional device and it's designed to take multiple readings uh, throughout the day. You can have a, a user one that has a phone app paired to it, which I'll show you in a minute, Doug. You can also have user two, and then you can also do guest mode and uh, really understand what your level of ketosis is, whether or not you're burning fat for the day or carbs or sugars. And then the business model, the level pro, is you can have this in your office and screen and test your clients throughout the day as they come in, if they are in fact in ketosis, burning carbs or fat and understand their reading for that day um, and then also if your clients have devices out in the field they will push that information back to your office and you can see real time the uh, impacts of their diet plan their exercise their sleep and their stress um, and whether or not they're in fact burning fat for fuel or burning carbs and sugars okay cool so let's let's do a test on me see how this thing works great let's do a test so with the level device, I'll open the lid, I'm going to pull out the mouthpiece, mouth pod, excuse me, put a mouthpiece in. Doug, if you could, blow into the pod for five seconds, uh, hold for five seconds, blow into the pod for ten seconds. While Doug's doing that, I'm going to make sure it's on user one and it's paired to my phone via Bluetooth. What Doug has been doing is just naturally filling the pod full of air. I'm going to close the lid. The level device is now going to analyze his breath for breath acetone and isolate that molecule in parts per million. And soon we'll be able to see it on both the device and to the app. Now if Doug is above a two, he's in ketosis. And he's actually on the device, he's maxed out. He's at a six, but it sends it over to the next decimal point on the app, which I'll show you guys. And Doug is a 10.7. So he's actually in what we consider... A bit closer. A little bit closer? Yeah. He's what we consider a therapeutic state of ketosis, where Doug has probably actually been in ketosis for quite some time or fat adapted. Um, this is a snapshot of the last 18 to 24 hours. So with this non-invasive measurement, it gives you an insights of your exercise, your sleep, your stress, and uh, your nutrition and how that affects your body. And Doug, it looks like your run has put you into a fat burning state. There we go. And probably your diet and your sleep and your stress. Yeah, I think the diet is a, is a big thing. I was telling you earlier that uh, 
We don't I test that often anymore because I kind of know. And the minute I, I go off the rails for some reason, I can feel it immediately. And I don't need to test to know that I'm out of ketosis. And uh, it takes a couple of days to get back in again. The one thing I, I, I was talking to you off, off air was, um, the nice thing about this is that you can test multiple times in a day. And you don't have to prick your finger 25 times a day if you wanted to do a whole lot of tests through the day to find out this, is the stress of work, what happens after you've just eaten something, yeah. all those kinds of things. Every time you, there's an input in, in, in your life, you can do a test to see how, oh, absolutely. how it's affected you. Whereas if you're doing only um, blood testing, you got to prick your finger every time you have to do that, which for some people sucks. Yeah, we get asked that a lot by your listeners. Um, when is a good time to test? And a good time actually is any time that is convenient for yourself, but if you can do that same time every day to understand the last 18 to 24 hours, but being non-invasively, if you had this at home or in the office or in your gym or wherever you might have it, if you can do a reading uh, right when you wake up, that's your resting metabolism, before you brush your teeth and before you have breakfast, that gives you a good baseline of the last 24 hours. You can think about, all right, I was a, let's say I'm gonna use an example, I was a 1.6. So 2.0 and below, I'm burning carbs and sugars. What can I do differently today to raise that 1.6 and get into ketosis or get into more burning fat cells for energy? So then you would, you would adjust maybe one or two things, uh, working with your coach or understanding, you know, listening to certain podcasts that Doug offers on his site and, uh, and see if that affects your uh, ketosis reading. The other thing is you can do pre-post workout um, so prior to workout and then after workout, you can use this non-invasively and then also later in the afternoon when your glucose is changing, your body is changing from fatigue, from work or exercise, you can do a reading later in the day. Yeah, and even, even uh, you know, if you've a stressful job and the effect of the hormones and stuff, you know, it's, uh, stress hormones and things, like that, that can also make a big difference that you can, you can monitor how, how that's affecting you too. Yeah, Doug, I want to share this with you. We were talking about this and just behaviors that we all do and you know, through the work week and then into the weekend. This is an example of someone in our office that um, I want to share with your listeners. And this shows kind of those peaks and valleys that we all experience with life and as things are introduced to us. But this is an example of you can see the parts per million and then also the graph below. You can see Monday through Friday, uh, this particular person is burning carbs and sugars after the weekend, rises into a fat burn state, and then come the weekend, having a girl's night out, or perhaps a birthday party, or not being so diligent on nutrition and exercise and sleep, uh, they have to then get back into a fat burning state throughout the week. This particular person then realized that I can isolate on the weekends and, and change a couple things that I'm going to fast forward here, you can see becomes much more fat adapted and on the trends is showing a nice steady state of fat burn. So that's actually an application that our coaches would use in a level pro office to show and have these conversations with clients whether or not their diet or their nutrition or their sleep behaviors or even their stress is impacting their, their goals or helping achieve those goals that they might have for weight loss um, and, and, and lots of other disease states. Okay, awesome. So we, we did commit to trying to keep this, this one short, so let's end it here. But I think doing a series of, of chats with you over the next few months, I think would be would go down well. Thank you. Yeah, I look forward to it. Yeah, absolutely. Telling you more insights about the device. Go into more, more detail. Maybe we can do some case studies of you know, certain people that uh, are doing well or are struggling. Because every, you know, not everybody's successful. People often struggle and they like to, to see that other people are struggling as well and, and how they dealt with it so that it gives them hope and, and, and a roadmap to, to maybe getting past their own struggles. So I'd like to, to kind of work on something like that with you. Look forward to it. Thanks, Doug. Okay. Thank you. Thanks.